back in the rainforest, this time to visit one of the world's leading sustainable hotels. And I can almost guarantee that you haven't visited a hotel quite like this. We're about to embark on an adventure, covering landscapes, wild animals, food, and of course, hiking a volcano or two. I'm your travel host, Alice Ford. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon. You're not gonna wanna miss this South American series. This is Ecuador. Set in a private forest reserve less than two hours from Quito, Mashpi Lodge is where the rainforest meets luxury, and it's gonna be a lot different than my last day in the jungle. This is exactly what this place is all about, the cloud forest. This is so much more than a hotel. It's a true rainforest experience. All the activities here are catered around getting outside and exploring the 6,000 plus acres here of this private nature preserve. And you get to see the sights and the sounds, birds and the insects of this beautiful cloud forest, unlike any other place. A cloud forest is higher in elevation than a rainforest with frequent low-level clouds and completely different biodiversity that relies on consistent rainfall, so it's no surprise that there's a lot of it at Moshpee. Moshpee was built with all the modern conveniences you need, but the real reason you come here is to experience what's outside. The hotel has many different walks and adventures to choose from, from birding and waterfall hikes to soaring over the forest on aerial trams and sky bikes. So after getting outfitted with some rain gear, it was time to explore. Rubber boots and rain jackets are provided for daily adventures, but there's also forest elephant ears, in case you forget. One of the really unique things here at Moshpee is getting to experience the cloud forest from literally up in the cloud forest. Right now I'm on one of the sky bikes here, which takes you about 200 feet above the forest here. It's raining right now, but we're in a cloud forest, so who cares? The sky bike is such a unique adventure because most of the biodiversity in a cloud forest is actually in the top layer of the trees, but this is a place people rarely get to experience. The cloud forest here is so beautiful. Even when it's raining, it's also full of waterfalls, and that's just where I'm heading right now. Nothing ordinary about this hotel. Right now, we're on the Dragonfly. This is an aerial tramway suspended 200 feet above the forest floor that's gonna take us back to Mashpee Lodge. It's not just farm to table here, it's forest to fork. Almost all the dishes here on the menus, which change daily, are from the local surroundings. They even have a vegan menu with some really tasty selections. Some of the best food I've had in Ecuador so far. Mm. One of my rules on vacation, you should always eat dessert. Mm. Moshpi is all about great guest experiences. The bar opens at 6.30, so after some of your daytime activities, we can come grab a cocktail like a spicy guava margarita and listen to the noises out here in the cloud forest. One of my favorite things to do when I'm staying in jungles like this is go on a night hike. One of the most unique things about Moshpi is that it's not just a hotel, but a research station. And scientists have identified several new species over the years. One of the most recent is a type of glass frog duly named the Moshpi frog. And it was one of the species we set out to look for in the evening hours.
When it comes to sustainable hotels, this is one of the best I've stayed at. It actually was built on top of an old lumber mill. And it might surprise you that this lush nature reserve that we're looking at now actually was clear cut a long time ago, parts of it anyways. When Moshpi started construction here almost 20 years ago, they actually bought about 3,000 acres of this old lumber area. They replanted a lot of the trees, they built the lodge, and they've been inviting people to come and visit this area ever since. Now, now they have more than 6,000 acres. It's all protected by the government in an actual nature reserve, so no one else can build in here, no one else can develop it or log it ever again and they actually didn't have to cut down any trees when building this place because they used the same footprint that existed before. Two critters you won't miss here at Mashpi Lodge are butterflies and birds. Right now we're walking over to the hummingbird garden to get a closer look. There are actually 15 species of hummingbirds, and while I saw them often growing up, it was never this close. So watching them in such close proximity was really unique. Moshpi is one of the best places in Ecuador to observe birds, with some 400 species spotted to date, 35 of which are endemic, meaning they're found only in this region. I loved seeing the variety of toucans, parrots, and hummingbirds and had no idea there were so many different ones. I spent hours looking through binoculars at all the varieties of beautifully colored birds during my stay. One of the research projects they have here is the study of butterflies. And it might remind you a bit of elementary school because they study all the different aspects of metamorphosis here, which plants the butterflies like the best. They have 17 different species that they study. And then you can enter the butterfly garden where hundreds of butterflies are flying around. Moths and butterflies are one of the species that are heavily studied at Moshpi, and more than 300 species have been identified in the preserve to date. It's time to end yet another adventure. This one has been a little wet, a little wild, but a whole lot of fun. I want to give a special thanks to Mosh P Lodge and my Patreon community for helping make this video possible. If you guys are new here, please hit that subscribe button and turn on those notifications. And don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and leave a comment down below because it really helps make this video and my channel rise to the top. Thank you guys as always for joining me on one of my adventures here in Ecuador. And if you haven't caught some of the other videos from this series from South America, please go check those out now. As always, I'm Alice Ford. Never stop exploring.